So today, the basically I shortly introduce the effects of climate change on the future plane herbivore interactions. The previous the presentation is mainly focused on atmospheric change and also the Arctic, the, the past, the, the climate change scenario. And the, this presentation, I mainly focus on organismic level, the, the consequence of climate change on organismic level. The particularly about the growth and the nutrition changes of host plants and the effects of endangered insect species. So, as most of you know, the biodiversity is threatened by the human activity and the climate change. The extinction rate has been dramatically accelerated by the human activity and more than 7% of species can be disappeared by the climate change. So, however, we still do not know the climate change and the effects of population on the endangered species that much. So, particularly, the more than 70% of species are insects and the plants. And furthermore, the around the 70% of insect species are it, they are it, the plant materials. So to understand the potential effects of climate change required to know the changes in the plant herbivore interactions under climate change. So climate change can directly affect the insect species, but their effects also can through the changes of host plants of the insects. So therefore, is, it is necessary to understand the physiological and the growth changes of host plants to estimate the future population of these endangered species by the climate change. So, Currently, the many of scientists regarded the increased carbon dioxide level can act as a carbon fertilizer for many plant species. And the many of studies have shown that this carbon dioxide increase actually accelerated the plant growth. So we suggest the total food quantity can be increased for the herbivore. So, so for the future, maybe the herbivore community population can be positively affected by the climate change. However, not only food quantity, the food quality is also matter for the herbivore. So as an alternative hypothesis, so increase the carbon dioxide level can increase the plant growth, but Still, the nitrogen supply in nature is still limited. So it could increase the, car the ratio between the carbon and the nitrogen in the host plant. So as a consequence, it could decrease the food quality. So it called the nutrition dilution hypothesis, and it suggests that climate change can negatively affect the herbivore community in the future. However, the food quality is also not only just in nutrition, the toxicity of the host plants is very important for the herbivore. However, still we don't know that much about the plant secondary metabolic -like chains and the nutrition chains and the growth chains together plants. Okay, so I have studied one of the endangered species in Korea and its host plants. The larvae the, of this swallowtail butterfly only eat the Aristolochia, at the Aristolochia, Aristolochia contorta, and these plants produce very toxic alkaloid compounds, which are the Aristolochic acid. So, we have used the open top chamber system to mimic the climate change. 
And the target carbon dioxide concentration of this manipulation was 540 ppm. So it is a similar with the RCP 4.5 scenario. And the, not only does the increase the carbon dioxide level, the climate change and also significantly change the soil moisture content by the altering the precipitation pattern. So despite the fact that the both these factors are important for the plants and the insect, however, very limited study has been conducted to the combining this com effect. So we did a factorial design to understand the effects of carbon dioxide and the water together. So here we found the host of plants of the swallowtail butterfly grew worse. And the plant produced more secondary metabolites under the climate change treatment. So it strongly suggested the total food quantity, the quantity and the quality decrease under the climate change scenario. As a lizard, the swallowtail butterfly grows or has been decreased under climate change treatment. But interesting thing, the increased soil moisture contents can ameliorate the negative effects of increased carbon dioxide levels. So in nature, the interaction between the plants or insects can be happened multiple times in a year. For example, the in interaction between the this swallow butterfly and the uh, aristolochic the plants they interacted in the three times per year so we have needed to consider the these the developmental changes and also the butterfly also can compete with the other herbivore such as a generalist herbivore in this case a spodoptera species so we further tested the effects of the developmental stage and also the, the insect community level test. So in order to investigate it, the, we used the OTC system was used also in the previous experiment. And also the we further the measure the carbon dioxide and the nitrogen ratio to measure the determine the nutrition levels and also the secondary metabolite also measure to test the toxicity of the host plants. So the plant's nutrition level decreased gradually, sorry, the decrease gradually as it progressed through the developmental stage, but the plant secondary metabolite, the toxicity, showed the tendency to vary greatly from the ear to ear during the active growth time and the lip senescence time. As you can see in the juvenile stage and this is low, but senescence stage, the increase the carbon dioxide situation, so aristocytic acid is very high in this time. But in the active growth time, it's very low. So the climate change, the scenario to treatments affect the swallowtail, the growth, and the, it, the effects of climate change is only the intense in the first year situation. However, in the second year, the effects of climate change has been neutralized. But from the second year, if you can see the generalist herbivore, which are potential competitor of the, this endangered species, the day, their growth rate has been increased a lot in under the climate change treatment. So competition with the generalist herbivore can be increased in the future. So in a summary, the cry, I'm oh, sorry. In a summary, the climate change 
can alter the plant growth and physiological responses in the plant. And these changes are different in the plant developmental stages. But all these changes either decrease the plant growth, decrease the growth of endangered species, or the increased competition with the other herbivore. So it decreases the future population of endangered species under the climate change. So here is shown that the effects of climate change in the host plants can negatively affect the future population of endangered insect species. So thank you for listening to my talk and uh, uh, I really appreciate for the my collaborator, the Jagan Kim in Seoul National University, and also the main contributor, the Dr. Bona. Thank you. Thank you.